Uh, Neve, you actually started your working life on various different engineering projects, including the London Underground. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. But you use quite a lot of technology and engineering in your career and right through it. Yep. Can you tell us more about your career journey? I have a, yeah, I have a very elongated uh, journey, Arlene, and um, I think it's interesting because you can use your engineering degree really in anywhere, you know, it was a great foundation. So I did my degree in engineering <clears throat> and then I went traveling. I got a job working in the London Underground, went traveling, came back, did a master's in engineering. And then um, the old brain was scratching. I'm a curious person. So I did a PhD um, in science. And then I uh, went into sort of the academic career full time for a couple of years, but there was always the artist and the performer at the back of my mind all the time. And when I would have studied engineering, um, you know, there was no outlet for that really, um, in terms of like studying it professionally or whatever. So um, the frustrated artist kept coming back and back. And when I kind of finished um, all these years of, of study, I kind of wanted to let her breathe for a bit. So I did, and, um, and kind of in the last 10 years, I'm finding a way of combining both of them. And because of my passion for engineering and science, I'm now making uh, theatre and making performance pieces that brings in either scientific principles or actually technology embedded within, um, within performances. So what I've started doing is um, making theatre. So you would have a, you know, when you watch a performance, you would have lighting and you would have sound cues and you would have video cues. So rather than somebody behind stage rigging the sound cues, I have the performers actually reading them themselves. So I have a whole load of sensors around them uh, using wow. Arduinos and different things because, and they love it because it means that they're in total charge of what's going on with them, for them moment to moment. So wow. yeah, so it's kind of so nice the, to use everything. Yeah, the yeah. individual is controlling the signs yeah. and the performance. Uh -huh. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, God, cool. your shows are, must be great. Um, so Rachel, you're actually involved in the technical engineering recruitment side. So yeah. you place engineers all around Ireland into these roles. Can you tell us more about where the demand from the different engineering backgrounds is and is there many going into this area? Yeah, I mean, at the moment we're, we're just inundated with, I suppose, CVs, um, but also demands for candidates. Um, where we see a lot of the growth at the moment would be in the process chemical engineering space. That's huge. Uh, we have a very, I suppose, a, there's a big skill set um, shortage on the market when it comes to graduate engineers in chemical engineering and process engineering. And, and they're getting very well paid. There's a very good opportunity in the graduate college. So I think, you know, it's definitely something to look at. Other areas, energy. Um, we see a lot more people going into energy masters, environmental masters, and it's definitely coming more so across on CVs. So that area seems to be an area of growth as well. Um, generally speaking, the pharma, biotech, you're looking at medical device, there's a lot of growth in those industries. So really any career in those industries is a lot of demand. And that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you can go from R&D, uh, research and development through to, you know, validation engineering. I mean, making sure all the processes, you know, are, 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 are doing what they should be doing. Um, so it's just, there's a lot of growth at the moment in that area. Wow. And there's a lot of different types of engineers by the sound of it. Oh God, definitely. Yeah. I mean, and that's the one thing I think people don't understand sometimes when they're at second level, how broad engineering is as a discipline. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you have your engineering, your biomedical, if you're interested maybe more along the science, mixing science and engineering, you look at biomedical, maybe you're going down the medical device route, you can be making kind of prosthetics, you know, devices um, within that industry. Maybe you're more interested in, you know, maintenance, that manufacturing, that might be something you might be more interested in. Energy, that's a complete, if you want to make an impact in terms of energy in the environment, you have those options. So there's just such a variety, I think, of opportunities in engineering. Great, thank you. Yep.